right. Good morning and happy weekend. We're finally here. It's finally Saturday. And we're back on RuneScape. Just a couple minutes late starting. I was trying to make it right on 9, but I was downloading something else on PlayStation and realized that was dropping my frames and I didn't want that to affect the stream at all, so pause that. Everything's looking good now. Guess we can get started. Um, I think I want to buy more bait. I remember. Oh, I remember the first time. So yeah, we'll fish. Get a stock of food going and then... We'll see what else we can do today. Um, Some things that have been happening this week. If you were watching any of the other ones... Um, I had recently, uh, was able to start applying for monetization on YouTube. I was denied, and that's where, I, that's all I think I had mentioned in that video. I hadn't got to making the appeal video yet. Um, so when they reviewed my videos initially they noticed it was a bunch of video game stuff so it was immediately flagged as unoriginal content and so I had to make an appeal video that showed that my stuff was original and what ended up happening was I had made my video I had showed streams like this um, there's a lot of streams that I do where I have you know, my camera on, uh, mostly online games, and, yeah, it was, I thought it was enough to show, like, hey, clearly this is original, I'm putting my face on it, uh, it's not just me putting up gameplay, because I thought the reason for that, them denying, um, was my walkthroughs, or, just gameplay where there's no commentary or anything on top of it because some of the examples that they send you are you know if you're going over somebody else's original content then adding something of value like commentary and so a lot of my streams like this I'm talking over it for the most part um, I would say enough that it matches anything somebody else is doing on YouTube and so I made this 15 long minute, 15 long minute, um, I made this huge 15 minute long video showing like all the things that I do, um, why my gameplay videos aren't just gameplay, like uh, one of the things that they put is like if it's for educational or entertainment purposes, so I have walkthroughs with timestamps that show you if you're looking for a certain part, like you can just click on the timestamp and then that's a lot easier. Um, I even showed how there are a couple game channels that they don't edit their content, they just post four hour video that they call a walkthrough and there's no timestamps. It's just one super long video that you couldn't even really use if you wanted to, to find what you're looking for without scrolling and wasting a bunch of time. Um, and I even pointed it out in their long videos that there's no um, editing involved. So there will be a pause screen where they're taking a break for like two or three minutes and then it goes back to the game and they don't even edit that out. So that channel making that is just recording gameplay and putting it up with out anything in between 
So I'm like, I, that's probably why I got denied again, is that I'm pointing out, hey, you guys let these people get monetized. Because if you go to their um, channel, you can join, which means that they're partnered because you can subscribe to them. Well, on top of normal subscribe, you can uh, do a paid subscription, so... Anyway, so I pointed out, like, hey, these people aren't putting up streams. Um, there's no face behind these videos. It's just gameplay, and they're not even editing. And I showed that I was. That's not even all of it. So, that was a 15-minute long video. And... <clears throat> So when I go to submit that for my appeal, uh, then it tells me that the video has to be five minutes. There was no clarification on what they wanted in the video other than they wanted to see original content or evidence of original content or entertainment or educational value. And they wanted, I mean, that was it. So I try to submit it and then it tells me it needs to be five minutes. That was news. So I'd, I didn't feel like re recording everything that I did so I went back and just took out huge chunks but still kept the main points down to five minutes submitted that and it was rejected again on the second rejection then they explained that well what they wanted to see was evidence of my filming my um, creative process and things like that but I'm not allowed to resubmit or reapply until the middle of September. Now granted, this was last week ago, so basically I have to wait a month from when I started that to appeal it again. Even though, like, there was no... They weren't being... Like... They weren't telling you what they wanted. So... I don't know, I just think that's a little shysty. Like, I get that there's probably tons and tons of people applying and reapplying, and so if there is somebody or a team of people actually looking at these things to try to figure out if they're legitimate or not, I can see why, but I just don't... I feel like I gave them everything that they wanted. Unless they really think I'm just taking somebody's RuneScape video, talking over it, and pretending like I'm playing for two hours every week. And then same thing with all my other videos. Which, uh, there could be. There could be people out there who do that. Um, and yeah, I think me talking about how they've allowed another channel to kind of get away with putting out nothing original. I don't think I... <clears throat> should have pointed that out so I'm just gonna try next time to one I'm gonna show receipts I'm gonna show look at all my steam purchases uh, all the games match up to what I have on my channel look at the times that I bought them and played them it lines up to when my videos are posted look at the games that let me put in a name they all say turtle machine I mean not runescape I'm going by my original RuneScape name, but I'll show them the login process from start to finish if they want. Um, I'll show them me using Canva to make thumbnails, me using uh, Filmora to edit down my videos and mark where I'm putting timestamps. If they want to see everything, I will show them everything, but like if I have to do that in five minutes, then I'm just going to overthink, well, what do they want to see? Like, how much, how many receipts are enough receipts for them to be like, okay, this guy's legit. So, I don't know. That part worries me. Because I feel like five minutes isn't enough time if they want evidence of everything. Because I have, I don't know how many different games on my channel. Oh, no. get them I'll just cook these for now like I have so many different gameplay videos so I don't know how I'm going to show evidence for all of those 
I can show evidence for the ones that I'm doing recent. I mean, I don't know if Epic has receipts on, oh, I mean, I could show that I have them on Epic. I don't know if they have like a one I bought or last played. I probably don't have the emails. You guy's about to die. So, I don't know. I'm overthinking it, but that's what happens. That's what I do. I'm just like, how are these other people? Like, how does somebody who's just putting out gameplay... I'm not trying to throw shade at these channels, because I'm basically doing the same thing, but I'm doing it better. I'm editing worthless parts out of my videos. I'm time stamping so people can actually use them. And the same channels are doing the same thing like I'll put out a movie version if it's like a game that has a lot of cutscenes and a good story behind it I'll edit down all the gameplay and adjust the cutscenes and like anything that makes sense to add like boss fights or even just parts where you're like running around or driving if it makes sense to the that part of the story like to show that you're going from one place to another not just magically appearing there like, I'll consider and do all that. Oh no, why am I eating all these? I wanted to bank all these. I'm not even thinking. I'll just do it. Do it next time. But yeah, I'm, I'm being considerate and editing all these parts down and trying to make something for entertainment purposes and educational purposes. Their movies, they take all of the walkthrough parts that they put together they combine them into one 20 hour long movie and then that's their movie version. I'll take like, you know, 30 hours of gameplay and put it into like a six hour movie. But yeah. Clearly I'm just taking it from other people. Somehow getting them to put Turtle Machine as their name. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna, I can't wait for that video. I just gotta try to not be petty. Because it's so upsetting to be denied twice, not giving clear instructions either time on what you should actually be doing. Not being told five minutes for the first video. And then not being told, oh, we actually wanted to see, like, your proof, not just your evidence of your original content. Even though that's what they asked for. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it'll happen. I think... If not, if, if me proving all of the games that I have, showing timestamps of, like, when I bought the game, how many hours I've played, and comparing that to the videos I have when they were published, and how many hours are on those, showing the games that where I'm able to put in a name that the name is Turtle Machine, or showing my accounts, like, I don't know if, I have to double check, because some of the games... There might have the, like, Steam overlay or Epic Games overlay of when you, like, um, you know, earn one of the badges or do something in the game. Achievements. Uh, I don't know if those overlays pop up because I use Bandicam to screen record specifically, like, the game window. Um, so I don't know if that captures that, too. It might not consider, it might be separate than the overlay. So, I gotta see that, because that'll say Turtle Machine on it, too. There's plenty of things that say Turtle Machine on it, not just, you know, that they can prove, like, oh, that's in the game. Unless, you know, they'll probably clap back with, like, oh, there's clearly a Turtle Machine out there, and you're taking all their content that they're not putting out. Like, there's some random channel. They're gonna think that there's some random person named Turtle Machine, recording all these videos, and I'm just somehow getting my hands on them, and then putting my face over them. <laughs> I don't know. It's really upsetting. I'm gonna... It's just, yeah, it's, it's gonna be really hard not to be petty and call them out on, like, the hypocrisy with these other channels that are monetized and don't... They do, like, far less than what I'm doing with mine. But they also have millions of subscribers, so... You know, what's going to earn more money? My channel that's just able to get monetization? Or a channel that has millions of people apparently watching? Or at least hundreds of thousands on their videos. Yeah. 
So yeah, for the first level, you had to break 500. Um, last week when I was recording, I was a, I had just gotten over. I think I was about 700. Now, as of this morning, I broke over a thousand. So my channel is capable of being fully monetized, and I still have to wait. At least, what, three more weeks? Ooh, I can fish for herring. Now is that fly fishing? So yeah, I have to wait at least... Fishing rod, fishing bait. Yeah, three more weeks before I can try again. And no idea if it's even going to go through. It's a little scary. I would be really upset to have worked this hard for two years, gotten, I mean, it was seemingly impossible. Even a few months ago, it was so slow going, and then all of a sudden, I got this bump. Um, yeah, to finally hit this mark and just be told, like, yeah, these other channels can put out unedited videos with no face behind them, and they can be monetized, but you're editing and doing streams with your face on it and you can't be because it's not original enough I'll be so pissed again I don't know I'm not gonna fault YouTube on it because I want to be in their good graces but they do have a lot of like weird rules and things that just don't doesn't seem equal to everybody so we'll see that's the next that's the next uh, adventure. <sighs> Other than that, I started playing Black Myth Wukong. I wishlisted that game and completely missed when it came out. I'm always... I have to work. So I don't get to just play things the minute they come out like most people. Not unless it falls on a weekend. That's the only way it's going to happen. Um, yeah, didn't... Thought it looked really cool. And then, as it was getting closer, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I really want to play this. There's so many more games that are coming out in the next few months that I have to pick and choose really what I want to spend money on because I don't get to just do this for a living. So, us regular people have to make choices. We can't just buy every new 70 60 dollar game that comes out as soon as it comes out but I'm starting to see videos on it which made me remember like oh this just came out i gotta see if i can get on that and yeah bought it at first i like instantly regretted buying it, it <laughs> that game i i'm not a, like a i'm not a very like good player when it comes to reaction times and things like that. I can do okay on some online shooters. Um, story games. <laughs> if I'm playing a difficulty level, ah, if I'm playing a difficulty level, I'm going to play on normal. I'm not going to go hard. Um, or if I just want the story, I'm playing it on the easiest mode possible. And that's probably dumbed down my abilities, like, by a lot. Because this game does not have... It has one setting, and that's whatever setting it is. Like, you start playing, and that's it. You don't get to change. Um, yeah, it was... It was a lot. I I haven't... I played Dark Souls maybe once. I haven't played Elden Ring, but basically that kind of game, I'm... It's just very hard for me. I can't do like you have to time out attacks and do things like that. I am very, very basic when it comes to games. And it being an action game, I'm like, alright, I just want to like attack, 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 back up, attack, attack. Like, I don't want to sit there and dodge 90% of the attacks, hit like three times, and then have to back off and wait, like, and time everything up perfectly. 
that's that's what that game is and that's pretty much what i remember being my experience with um dark souls the dark souls i'm a, i can't remember i'm pretty sure it's dark souls whatever the game is the super hard game um or elden ring where you have to time out things like perfectly i know there's people who can do it like amazingly and i'm jealous of that especially when i started playing this when i saw that there was no difficulty setting i'm like please be easy enough no i died i put out chapter one this morning i got through it not without dying a thousand times at least wasting you know a good hour or more on certain bosses but starting to get the hang of it so like i'm kind of glad it's difficult because it's pushing me um Hopefully it helps me with other games in the long run, but yeah, I, I couldn't, I was very like, I just spent $60 on a game that I'm not going to be able to beat, it's too hard for me, and I by then I had played, you know, longer than the two hours or whatever it takes to be able to return on Steam. Um, also, I'm playing on a keyboard. Like, when you start the game, it says, we recommend that you play with a controller if you're going to play on PC. Uh, and I can see why. The controllers are very unfriendly to keyboard. And you can't really change the controls either. Like, for the longest time, I didn't know there was a jump button. Because they don't explain a jump button. They show you space bar to dodge. So I figured that was also kind of how you jump. Or that, like, jumping wouldn't be necessary. And then I'm looking at the controls and saw a jump button. Can't change them. Um, jump, I think, is control, which... If you're using WASD to move, you have to, like, stretch your pinky all the way down. Try not to hit the Windows key or nothing. That's gonna, like, completely mess everything up. Like, I hate... I hate control being, like, crouch or anything for any kind of game, so... I have a mouse that has like the two buttons on the side and that works very well for me switching that to be the crouch or whatever or jump would be good in this case uh, cause then yeah I can keep my fingers where they need to be cause all of the buttons you're pressing are mostly by WASD 1, 2, 3, 4 and then I haven't gotten to switching stances yet I haven't found it necessary if you're familiar with the game there's a uh, different fighting stances um, I'm just putting all of my points into Smash right now. Because it's hard enough. <laughs> but yeah. So, tried switching that to make it easier on myself. Because the, the dodging timing is so hard when I have to like back my thumb up to spacebar real quick. And you're not allowed to change those buttons. For whatever reason, jump has to be control and dodge has to be spacebar. They let you change controls. I don't know what. Those were the only two I wanted to change and I wasn't able to. So I don't know what buttons I'm allowed to change. But when I tried to change those two, like a prompt comes up that's like, nah, you can't change these. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's very helpful. But yeah, like that game is a pain. Like... I avoid those kinds, I haven't played Elden Ring at all, because I know what to expect. I've seen the videos of how hard things are, and how you have to dodge, like, perfectly. So, I avoided that for a reason. I didn't think this was going to be like that. So, we'll see. Maybe if I get good at this, okay. I don't think I'd go back and play Elden Ring. I feel like the everything about that game's kind of died off by now. I mean, there's still a ton of, like, videos and stuff going out about it and people playing it, but... I don't know. I'd have to wait for it to be on sale because that game is, like, really expensive still. I think it's still, like, $60. I was looking and saw Hogwarts Legacy, the game that I started with two years ago, like, making videos for. It's still, like, $60. I don't get it. I mean, I guess if it's popular and people are buying it, then, yeah. But I'm looking for sales. I'm a regular person. I don't get to make a bunch of 
extra money playing these yet. That's hopefully what's going to happen if I do get monetized and get enough to... We'll get enough, like, ad money or whatever. I don't know how all that works. But the idea that I started with was I want to play games. I want to play a lot of games, like different games. I want to be able to afford the newer games I want to play without spending money, you know, for every single one out of my own pocket because it's... I got my own stuff I got to pay for. And then if anything can take off, like, eventually... Then, yeah, just money in the pocket. I doubt I would ever be able to quit my job, and I don't think I'd want to. I think if I can do this and make money, like as I don't, you know, ah, fuck. I figured if I can, you know, have the money I get from my job and have money coming in from this, and I'm able to do both, why not just do both? and make that much more. I'd rather be secure than hoping that this pays out, pans out over a long period of time. So, yeah. Nonetheless, some of those other channels stop. I don't see that happening, but I'm gonna keep trying. I like doing this, especially these streams on the weekend. I like playing RuneScape. Although, like, when I was starting today, I s the whole point of me wanting to do old school was maybe eventually, years down the line, I can catch up to, you know, all the skills, all the quests. And I think that they're going to be adding sailing, or I saw, sa like, some update about sailing. So, I don't know if that's already a thing. I just don't get why, if the whole point of old school RuneScape was to live out the, and I probably, I know I've said this in almost every other video, but why, why are we adding new things to old school RuneScape? The whole point is for it to be old school RuneScape. Like, if people just wanted the graphics and like the not all the skills and stuff, then just make that a setting a new RuneScape. Why do you have to make a separate... I don't know. Maybe they can't incorporate the two. Maybe you can't, like, dumb the graphics down enough. But, I mean, if you want, pay if you want people playing the new RuneScape, then just make it a setting. Because, yeah, if it's, if, if it's not going to stop evolving, then... My reason for playing this is kind of invalid. I wanted to relive the past. Yeah, I'm, I've been doing that, but I want to eventually, like, beat everything. <clears throat> I was never able to catch up on everything because it just kept going out of my reach. So yeah, if you are struggling with Wukong, go and watch my video. You'll definitely notice where it's edited, because I'll be running up to a boss with no health, like before the fight starts, and then all of a sudden the fight starts with full health, and there will be like a fuzzy kind of transition in between. That kind of... That's what you gotta do, like... <clears throat> One thing, too about those kinds of games like you die and you just go back to whatever a save point was and um you know the game still continues so when you run back to where that boss is you don't watch the cutscene again it's not like the game reloaded a save it's you died and you went back you just spawned back at a spawn point and for editing that sucks because like then the edits are very clear that oh this guy died and this is the whatever time where he finally beat it. Uh, I I know I'm not the only one. I can't be the only one struggling with that game. Hopefully I can beat the whole thing. I mean, hopefully chapter one isn't like, yeah, this is child's play. Like, if that game gets significantly harder, I'm going to be in trouble. 
there's gonna probably be bosses that do like a mixture of ranged attacks and I don't know but like at the same time why make an action game and you can't there's like no action why do I want to play a game where it's supposed to be like the cutscenes are like these cool fights back and forth and all this stuff and then when you're playing the game you can't fight anything you have to dodge wait for an opening hit like twice and then just repeat that until you finally beat the boss <laughs> it's crazy I don't like it I wanna come in I wanna just do a bunch of crazy stuff and move on with my day <laughs> <clears throat> Keep going. Got a lot of fishing levels already. What's going on? There we go. <clears throat> Yoy. Sorry for that. Yeah, I just want to fight and move on with my day. I don't want to sit there and dodge. Because, like, these bosses can just spam attacks over and over. And you have to wait for, like, the one second they're not fighting. And so, like, these fights take so long. And then it's just that much more annoying when you are spending seven to eight minutes fighting a boss, get it almost dead, and then they just get a few lucky hits on you and or, you know, poorly timed dodges and they kill you. And then you have to start all over. Like, I wouldn't mind dying to the bosses if the fights didn't take so long because of how much you have to dodge. My recommendation is learn, like, just pay attention. What I found was messing me up is I'm constantly running at the bosses and I'm trying to just hit, hit, hit. Uh, so I started staying very still, watching when they're going to attack, and then just kind of dodging, trying to get those last minute dodges, or as close as I can. Sometimes you just have to spam because I feel like the, the timing of certain attacks switches up. So, you know, one attack might be like one second. One second, one second, and then they'll switch up to one where it's like they pause and wait and then attack. <clears throat> and so if like you're used to dodging the one, then that they throw that in there just to mess with you. It's yeah, it's very cool. But I mean, yeah, you just get lucky and time things out right. Pay attention to. You know, get a feel for, like, how they attack and, like, try to find the patterns, because it's not, it's not impossible. It's just very hard if you're like me. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of bait. Can I do fly fishing? Because I have all those feathers. Level 20. Dang it. I don't want to spend all of my gold. Um... What can I do? I could try to get more gold, I guess. Or I should just not worry about it. Let me just get... More bait. I'll cook everything I have. And then I'll take that and fight with it. I wanted to get, like, as much fishing as I could today because like that's what's going to help me but I was hoping to get to fly fishing then I can kind of move in the Varrock area and have more opportunities around me because then I'll have like Barbarian Village to fish and fight with I'll have those banks nearby bump this up 
And how much is it? Wait. It's just... What was that? I thought you told me what they were. Oh, 100. That's not bad. Yeah, because they're three each. Alright, I'm poor, but... I'll be rich in experience, I guess. Probably no quest today. But probably next time. If I get to doing combat, then I can get myself to a point where, like... Combat quests are the ones that I really want to do. But if I'm getting chased off by these dark wizards, I'm not ready for a lot of those things yet. I remember Demon Slayer being a pain. I think they all, like, disappear, but I remember pretty sure the first time I did Demon Slayer, I want to say that it's just... You go into your own thing where it's the area, but you're just fighting the demon. But then when it sent me back, like, I barely had health, so then I got killed by the wizards as soon as I got back. Get out of here. Ah, uh, what? Go away. Get that guy behind you. There you go. Didn't even know you can walk over here. He's got it. What level is he? 10? Dang, we're in the same boat. Does he have a god book, though? What does he have? He's about to die. I'm sorry. What level do you have to be? 57? Okay, once I get to 20... I'll start cooking everything. And then, I don't know. I'll probably start fighting barbarians or I'll see what I can fight with the armor I have. Maybe dwarves? I don't know. Got to think about that. <sighs> Can't wait for Star Wars Outlaws. I was under the impression that I think it was Ubis Ubisoft Ubisoft. I think it was in Ubisoft last time. I think. I was under the impression that if you buy the subscription to Ubisoft Plus that you can play the three days early. Was it three days early? I think you can play Outlaws on the 27th. So I'm going to probably stream that that night if I'm able to. Or I just want to play that as soon as possible. I want to be on top of one of these games. Um, I hope that game is worth it. I'm not spending the full amount of it. Like, that's why I did that is so that I can pay like less than 20 bucks to try the game and hopefully early rather than spend all that money to not even like the game. So I really hope. <laughs> They made it seem like if you get the subscription that you'd be able to play it early. So I'm I'm banking on that. We'll see how that goes. At least then if I don't like the game I can just stop my subscription. But if I do end up liking it then I'll probably keep going. I wanted to do a Star Wars Old Republic video before it dropped, just because that was like the OG Star Wars multiplayer. That game was pretty fun, because 
Like, for the time, it was a pretty good story. Like, online game. I remember playing... I had two characters because I wanted to play, like, the dark side and the Jedi side. And... Yeah, it was pretty cool. I even still have, like... I have the CD case for it. I don't know if I have that here. I might have it right here. Somewhere. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be backwards, but yeah. Star Wars The Old Republic. It's a classic. Oh, I even got the receipt. And my product registration code. Dang, when did I buy this? 2012 from Brandon why do I think it came out like much longer I mean that's still 13 years ago but also got the secret world found all these old games that I still have the cases and stuff for make sure I didn't move that <laughs> I love that I still have the receipt in there too, that's pretty cool. Back when you bought games in person, even like <laughs> online multiplayer games. <laughs> Back then too, you probably could just buy it online, but... Something about the physical copy, it's just something that we don't have anymore. Something I don't do anymore. I buy all my games on Steam now, or Epic Games. Steam had, I think I mentioned this in my last video, I was talking about like old video games and I want to say I brought up Legacy of Cain and Soul Reaver and Defiance and stuff. They were on Steam for about $7 each, like $6.99 each and they all went on sale and they were all under a dollar. They are like $0.87.97 cents, so I bought Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen 2, Soul Reaver 2, and Legacy of Cain Defiance, and the total was like under three bucks. It was like two dollars and some change. So happy about that. I've never played like the Soul Reaver side by itself. I played Blood Omen 2, and I played Defiance. I've never played Soul Reaver. They didn't. I don't think they had Soul Reaver one. Um, but yeah. That was, that was a blast from the past. Those games I was really all about. And so now I'm glad that at some point I'm going to play those. Uh, probably during... Probably middle of September. I want to try to stream... Like a different horror. Or... You know, that realm of game. I wouldn't really call those horror games, but... You know, vampires and stuff. I want to do something like that every night. Ah, uh, I haven't got the drunken dwarf yet. No, he's not. He's not gonna like knock them out or whatever. yeah so September through October I want to play a different horror dark themed game every night for those I'm not gonna bother playing the whole game through um, it's you know how many years passed but those will be some nice nostalgic moments and then maybe certain games because I know there's going to be like a, what is it, what is that scary game? It's kind of like the Dark Picture Anthology, whatever, Until Dawn and that, but it's the Dead by Daylight people. The Casting of Frank Stone is going to come out September 3rd, Silent Hill 2, October 7th. I don't know if I'm going to do the Diablo 4 DLC, like I had fun with the Diablo for game 
you can check out those videos of my necromancer build uh, complete gameplay from start to finish and the movie version on YouTube but nobody like oh nice Oh, a kebab. <laughs> Forgot about those. Um. Yeah, I. I played Diablo 4, like, on release, and. There was. I got, like, almost no views on those. And so that kind of discouraged me from wanting to do the DLC. It's like nobody's really paying attention to Diablo 4. So, I don't know. I'll probably just skip that one, but Silent Hill 2 and the casting of Frank Stone are going to be good. And then there's, I don't know, a few more games coming out separate, like uh, Dragon Age. I love the Dragon Age series. The There's a new one coming out October 31st. There's, um, uh, Life is Strange. I love the Life is Strange games. Completely different from everything else that I play. Because it's mostly like... I'm playing like action and horror games. And that's more of like a story. Uh, but I got really into those during the pandemic. And other story games. So that... That's one I'm gonna... Can't wait to play too. Because I've played the rest. I only have videos for Life is Strange 2. And True Colors on YouTube. But... I would definitely, at some point, go back and do their other ones. Eh, maybe. Because, like, I, I'm struggling with, like, why make videos when they already exist, but then also, like, the ones that exist aren't well put together. But I'm trying to play newer stuff and a lot of different stuff. I don't want to spend... 10 15 hours on a game that people have seen already so i i just have to kind of balance that out because there are games that like i love and i want the gameplay saved for it but then yeah it's just the balance when there's like dead time or i can't afford to play a new game at the moment like afford to buy it anyway and i'll go back and play those if i have them <laughs> but yeah pretty excited not excited for spending like who knows how much and it's like three games that are probably gonna be sixty dollars in a month so that's like a hundred something dollars <laughs> in games is this gonna be it oh i already hit level 20 oh just caught it at like the caught it at the right moment nice we still got some bait left over Wait, can I just cook with that fire? That's permanent fire right there. Cause that's nice. I wanted my my wood cutting to go up though, so I'm gonna do that. All right. Um. X. That. Um. Wield. Let's start with sardines. Not allowed to cut down that tree? Come on now. Chili corn carne? They're gonna have to make like an old school, old school RuneScape pretty soon. Not like RuneScape 1, but like the original old school RuneScape where they didn't add all these extra things to it. Spicy crunchies? That might have been a thing. That sounds kind of familiar. But I also don't have the best memory when it comes to.
specific things. I might just do a little bit of wood cutting for fun because that's not going to take too long. And then I can sell those or use that for other things. Might as well get the easy levels out of the way. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Better get a level when it took that long. Nice. Just getting all of it. So this week I also played... I think it was last Sunday, maybe? Steam will do like a free play weekend on certain games. And like one I love that every you should be able to try any game that you're willing to buy. Or well there should just be a demo available or something. There should be a way of trying a game before you actually buy it because I, I don't know how many games probably get returned from not being any good um epic games needs to do that there were some games that looked cool and they were like just a couple bucks which i can't be mad about that but they're definitely putting up like people's random like indie games that they made with the purpose of just getting money from them <laughs> with misleading pictures so they they need to fix that but yeah anyway game called uh hunt showdown 1896 uh, I had a free play weekend it was a game that I had wishlisted but I'll wishlist games I forget to follow so that I don't get notified when they are released and when I miss a release date then I'm just like oh, I'll move on to something else I'll just play that later when it's on sale so I got the notification that it was on sale when I went to see how much um, also notice it was a free play weekend like sweet like it's on sale and I get to try it before I buy it like perfect that game <laughs> and in my video all I say is like how good the graphics are that's that's the best compliment I can give it is that they were some of the best graphics that I've seen in a game so far um Wow, the, the gameplay is not not the best. There's a there's a good idea there. So basically, you're a team of bounty hunters, or you can do solo. Like I'm sure there, there's a I believe there's a solo one or duos or trios. I I didn't want to play the tutorial. I'm like I don't have time for that. Um, just wanted to play the game because it seemed pretty straightforward uh it's an extraction type game so you know you do whatever the objective is in that case it's uh bounty hunting these monsters so you're in a map full of different kinds of like zombies and things like that and you look for clues that point you in the direction of a certain like boss kind of monster and you kill it collect the bounty on it and then you go to the extraction zone parts and leave um, and you're fighting against other teams of like three people so seemed pretty straightforward uh, but I didn't know that you were looking for clues to find the bounty of uh, the bounties that you're hunting so I'm just running around trying to follow my team who also didn't seem like they knew what they were doing. In hindsight, they probably were doing the right thing. They were probably looking for bounties, but to me it just looked like they were going in random places. 
and none of what they were doing made any sense to me. Uh, but also, like, the teams that I had, they kept going off in their own direction, so it was, it was very confusing. Um, and yeah, so I was just running around, killing monsters with no goal or aim, had no idea what was going on, watching other people hunt the bounties, because their name pops up whenever they get them. You're supposed to, like, be able to go after them too, but, like, I had, I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing in that game, and when I finally did, it still... It's pretty awful. Well, I think that they... They need to narrow down... The size of the map. Because it's, it's a lot. It's pretty big. And I mean, I get that there's a bunch of teams. Maybe... I don't know how many teams there were. I think there's 12 players, so 4 teams of 3. Um, but yeah, it took... It took forever to get where you were going. It was just very confusing. I don't know. It just felt a little too slow paced for me. Um, like not a whole lot of action. Didn't feel like a whole lot of action. And it's just very hard to navigate. <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the graphics when I got the hang of it. I thought it was pretty cool killed a person that I didn't know was a person like when it came to PvP because you you want to kill the other people if you run into them because they're after the same thing you are um, yeah I didn't know this guy was an actual guy I just thought it was a AI or you know monster person computer so that was cool but then we got like destroyed by this team later <clears throat> yeah it's it's not my thing games where you <laughs> and this might sound a little uh, a little stupid coming from playing RuneScape <laughs> as I'm saying this but games where you're doing the same thing over and over like I can only play it for so long what I mean by that is like Call of Duty, um, any game like that where it's you go to the same map even if they're slightly different maps you play a whole match and then you do it again with different people <clears throat> it's just, I mean RuneScape at least there's goals, there's I can, I might be wood cutting and cooking but I can go off and do something different um, but I'm not seeing the same thing over and over and over and over. I am, but I'm not. Like, you get it. I hope you get it. I can play those for a little while, but it's not something I can, like, stick to long term. I just get burnt out. I am going to be... I already pre-ordered... Um... Call of Duty Black Ops 6? Call of Duty 6? I don't know. Whatever whatever the newest Call of Duty is. If you pre-order it, you can do a beta test on August 30th. And I think it comes out in October. Or something like that. But... Oh, I didn't grab my Tinder box. So, we'll see that. That should be fun. I always loved like the stories in Call of Duty more than online play. Again, for the same reasons of like I can only do it so many times before it's like okay, this is this is very repetitive. I don't. That's just not my thing. That's why my gaming channel is dedicated to like trying as many different games as I can because I can't just do one thing always I mean back when RuneScape was my thing that yeah I could do that always but it's different times now gotta grow and evolve but yeah maybe I can play zombies around the time that I want to do those streams and that'll gotta work for that but yeah $70 a game. It's crazy to me. 
I want to be these people that get like an advanced copy. I wonder if they have to pay for them. Probably not, but I mean, even if you did, you're gonna get ad money just from being one of the first people to have videos on it. And that's what I wish I can do. But yeah, maybe one day. <clears throat> I never thought I'd hit a thousand subscribers after I realized how hard it was gonna be. And look at me, I did that today. Ugh. Next goal is 2,000. <clears throat> no, I'm... Now anything that happened, I mean... What I like about it is, like, all the pressure's off now. I was so... Like... Wanting to do as much as I can to hit the 1,000 subscribers, and I thought any time that I wasn't putting out something that I was just... You know... Getting behind... Dang, every level is something new. So I was like, pressuring myself to constantly put stuff out. And now, I'm already there. So, you can kind of take it easy and not worry so much. But the whole monetizing thing too, like, that's when I can really relax. <laughs> Alright, so now I got a ton of food. Um, let's... Note. Let's just drop these. I don't think I can do anything with burnt fish. As far as I know. Um, let's go fight things. It's about time. I'm in gold this whole time and I haven't been... Oh yeah, no, I wanted to woodcut too. Ah, I want to fight things though. It's time. <clears throat> that was the whole purpose of getting all this. Let's start with sardines. I'm gonna put four away. Let me see if I can kill a dark wizard. Doesn't help that I'm fighting in armor and they're using magic. Come on. You got this. Yeah, I want to fight barbarians that aren't going to be, like, strong against me. I just want to kill one. Come on. Come on. They're gonna get one last one too. All right, let's go. Let's go to Varrock. I'm gonna cut through this way. Ooh. Oh, busy day today. He's debating streaming playing uh, Black Myth Wukong, but like, I don't know how fun that would be. People to watch me die a million times before I finally get through a fight. I was thinking about that when I was playing, like, how could I possibly stream this? Like, I, yeah, it's, it's rough. It's really rough. If I was going to do good, that'd be cool. I can't count on that. Alright, let's see. Finally here. Oh, I can switch over to Slash. Here. 
don't remember them screaming, but it makes sense. These guys are a little bit strong yet. Probably not gonna be practical to fight these guys yet. Yeah, I'm struggling on this guy. Oh wow. Two more. One more. Shay. What's the flyer for? Let's maybe try dwarves first. And if not dwarves, then I'll go back and do goblins, because that's going to take too long. I'm not going to get that much experience from fighting something like that. Oh, dwarves are level 10 too? Yeah, that's not going to go well. Alright, let's, let's train on goblins. I'm going to go... Are they level 6 over here? I hope they're level 6 over by, because I want to be close to a bank, obviously. I wonder when I'll be strong enough for these guys. Flyfish over here too. Level five. Oh, I can try to go down fight I or uh, giants, hill giants. I remember that was crazy. I remember everyone would be down there because you're just trying to get big bones. Sure, there's other stuff I can be doing too. It would be a little bit more beneficial, but. I gotta play like old school. I don't really know what. It's probably like. I don't know. Sure, there's like members' quests that are low level that would probably give me something good. Gear wise, but I'm just gonna go with what I know. Let me stay right there. No, don't walk away. So hopefully, we can break 10 on everything today. And maybe I'll cut down some trees while I'm over here. Ten on everything and fifteen health.
start moving. Kind of just in the zone right now. I don't know what else to talk about. Not a whole lot else has happened this week other than that. Charizard that I bought that was the wrong Charizard um because it was a base set too I did get my money back for it I was very worried that I would send it back and the person would just be like up oh, Amazon he never sent it back I don't know how all that works I was just hoping that people wouldn't be shady and lie because I don't know how I could prove it otherwise um, but yeah, so that's good. Didn't waste money there. <laughs> I was so afraid of that. Still need to add to that collection, but yeah, like, it's more money, more time. Don't have a whole lot of either. So, gotta just do what I can. Also, and yeah, like, I'm, I'm not gonna order it off Amazon. Like, that's the stupidest thing I did. Was thinking that that would be a good place, but... <sighs> what benefit would be that? Especially, like, all, like, the... Like, the lower cards, like Charmander, Bulbasaur, like, all the... All the stuff that I really don't care if it's... Hollow, or the right edition, or... Whatever. Or even if it's in, like, the best condition. As long as it looks okay in the front. Like, if I go through Amazon, I can at least probably get them all in one lump thing. I'm afraid if I go through uh, TGC or whatever, um, or TCG, I can't remember, that I'm going to end up having to get several individual packages and pay for shipping on each. So the card will be like, you know, a dollar, and then have to pay, like, six ninety nine shipping per card, instead of just being able to buy, like, a bulk set of cards, like, that's my fear, is, I don't want it to go through all that, that's, that's gonna make it so much more of a hassle, I wonder if there's, like, a, oh, nice, and members can wield white weaponry. I didn't know there was white weaponry. What are y'all talking about? I don't like that white is members only. <laughs> Seems a little weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm already like far beyond or behind. I need to get steel. I'm out here in bronze and iron, but I'm should be in steel by now. 
I need enough money to buy those things. I don't know what the right way to do this is. I could keep mining and smithing and just selling all that stuff until I get enough money. And get strong enough and figure out what I need to kill to get that stuff. I have all this food, but I can't, like, I don't really need it with these guys. But I can't fight anything stronger because then it takes too long. And I'm not getting experience quick enough. It's a very. Oop, I need to switch. Let's go to Slash. Yeah. <clears throat> I need to get to, uh. Like a point where. I don't feel like I'm behind where I need to be. But also the way I'm doing it's a lot harder to do that because I can't just buy and sell. Like I, I could trade up money on the Grand Exchange, like no problem. But I, you know what? I haven't gone and seen if I could actually just trade on there. I should go do that. What is that? I'm just gonna hang on to that. got to be a purpose behind it like why why would they make that oh reanimation but what is like it's not it's not canon that's not part of old school runescape once i get to the 300 total level and i can vote on things i'm voting no on everything i don't want no changes Whatever players are in this game are... They ruined it. <laughs> Can we pitch ideas? Can we pitch all the new stuff to get taken away? Uh, or a third option of RuneScape where it's... It's like the original old school that they put out. I'll have to start all the way back over to Toril Island. I'm only 10 hours in about. I mean, it will be after today. This is episode 5. Five weeks that I've kept up with this. That's pretty crazy. It doesn't even seem like five weeks ago that I started doing this. What is up with my... I know that when I started this stream, I wasn't super pale looking something's wrong with the color it might be like the green screen background messes with the camera the camera's not sure what to make of it but i know when i started i wasn't i was looking normal i have like my little spotlight thing and you can adjust like the colors oh see there it goes now i'm like now i'm getting color in my face i don't know I can't keep up with all this. That's the thing when you have to go cheap with streaming stuff. Like, this is the stuff that they don't tell you. You can look up videos about, like, what to buy and stuff, but they don't give you any, any kind of idea of what it's really like. Maybe that should be what I do next. It's like, here, if you're cheap and you want to start doing this stuff, here's some things you got to know. One, you're probably going to have to change color settings on your video. <laughs> But I have like a spotlight in it. I have it set to like the warm setting so that it's like an orange, orange light. That was kind of helping. But I guess sometimes maybe if I go back far enough, I don't know. Sometimes like I just go pale on the stream. That's what was happening during that hunt game. I was like, what's going on here? I look like a ghost. People are going to be asking me if I'm alright. I'm be like, bro, you getting enough uh, iron? Like, you look like you're about to die on a stream. I'm diabetic? Did you miss your shot? I don't know if that's a thing. Now I'm just kind of generalizing. Oh. 
<sighs> I should stop in Edgeville and see how much steel costs. I'm kind of... Part of me wants to, like, make it myself, though. Like, something cool about buying it all versus... Or, um, making it all versus buying it all. It's thrown off because I've never seen this texture on this building. This looks like a flat picture stuck on there. I should go down there and see what it's like. There's probably gonna be somebody with a cannon down there. I feel like that's... That was the case. There is also, like, nobody playing. <clears throat> I have to give that a try, because Big Bones would help me get my prayer up a lot faster. I got this. Almost got my strength up again, before I realized. Let's see. Oh wait, you gotta get a key. Where do you get the key from? I think you have to go back through Edgeville Dungeon. I completely forgot about that. I'll be back for you guys, barbarians. I can almost fight the unicorns too. Forever? Is it. I don't know, I'm thinking Forever Young by Jay Z. Well, by whoever, and then. But the Jay Z version, obviously. Forever Young. I wanna be. Wow. I should go and start, uh, PKing. Just for fun, I want to see how much. <laughs> oh, I guess I can sell too. I'm gonna guess like 3,000 gold or something like that. What? You can't even sell me a steel plate? Useless? You're useless? Um. I didn't realize that how many like leather gloves and things were just laying around. Was it over here? This just always seemed like really crazy to me. I don't know why. That you had this like connecting pathway between the two places. Ooh, that skeleton is strong. Nice. I don't remember what I have to actually do to get the key. All right. They're not aggressive. I don't remember where the key is. Is the key back where they are? 
talking to nobody. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Zombies, zombies. Ooh, don't run out of run. Don't run out of run. These aren't the zombies I remember. These aren't the skeletons I remember. Oh no, 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 no. You got this, you got this. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I want the brass necklace. Brass key. Brass key. Okay, th this is really scary down here. I didn't realize how strong everything was. I got a necklace, though. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm not ready for this yet. That was... At least I got the key, though. Back to my domain. Just goblins. Wow. I realized how strong everything was. I'm so, like, far removed from it that... I forgot what the struggle was. I had a long way to go. Keep debating, throwing in some regular runescape too. Like doing a follow up stream. Maybe on Sundays or. Yeah, maybe Sunday mornings would be the best time for that. Ugh, I just wouldn't know what to do. It would just be me trying to. Get the rest of my 99s. See, I have like I have all combat 99s, Slayer, um, cooking. I definitely don't have Ranger Magic or Prayer. I think I'm like in the 90s with those. I think most skills I'm in the 90s. Is it really only those like five? I feel like I had more than that. Oh, I'd have to have to look, but probably not. <laughs> not gonna give myself too much credit. But I only know how to like skill the old way, so I wouldn't know what like the current methods are. Everything takes forever, and there's so many like quests, like. Uh... We'll see. Maybe down the line. Throw in some regular RuneScape streams. I would eventually like to complete that account, at least skill-wise. I mean, there's always going to be new stuff. Necromancy, I'm far behind on. That'll take forever. But it would be cool. If I ever got a party hat, I would go hardcore into RuneScape. I would definitely be <laughs> devoting a lot of time to it. That's all I ever wanted. Oh, I wish I could have got that one from last year's Christmas event. There's another chance this year. Maybe if they see... What's up? Are you gonna ask me if uh, I want to pay to have you edit my content or something? I forget what what the they usually ask. If you're asking for money, dude, I ain't got it. That's why I'm playing RuneScape right now. You know what really help your videos? Not you, buddy.
Sorry if you're a real person. Sell these. At least alchemy. Alchemy. Al High level alchemy, then? If I can't sell them, I'm not gonna keep a bunch of these. I guess I did hit 10 and everything. If I'm so close to 11, I might as well. These guys can't even touch me anymore. I think it's time to move on up. I'm doing great today. I'm playing RuneScape. It's a silly question to ask. And it's not sarcasm either. It's my favorite game of all time. Where am I from? Country? Where am I from? State? Indiana. Good old Indiana. Wait, why was like one girl level nine? The rest are level ten. I didn't fight the level nine. That one's level seventeen. What what's going on here? I guess I'm gonna have to fight level 10s. Oh, cool, one more hit. Pizza. Oh, there we go. There's one random level 9. I should probably do Slayer. Why wasn't I thinking about leveling up Slayer while I'm leveling up combat? I need to... I mean, not today. I'm gonna get this defense. I'll probably do that next time. That would make a lot of sense. I probably need a little bit more, like, magic and range, though. Should probably work on those. Maybe I can do those with Slayer. Dang, I don't know why I didn't think of that. I guess I'm still thinking like I have to play free to play. Steal something or other. That'd be so cool. I don't think things start dropping like steel until level 20. I 
if I can kill a guard, I think I can get a steel sword that way. I don't remember. Staff. Okay. I'm probably just cut trees down right here. There's a lot of regular ones over here. Just want to get wood cutting and fire making up a little bit more just because. No particular reason, but we got 20 minutes left. And then it's back to the grind. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, guard. Wonder if I could. I wonder if I can struggle enough to kill a guard. tab I guess yeah like random tools we can put in there stealing stuff I don't know what to do with an attack potion yet I like I'm gonna need it um yeah let's deposit all of my wearings give me an axe. Yeah, I should probably just cut and bank. do an oak tree like 5 or 15 still got plenty of regular trees around here dang I'm one hitting trees already wonder what an imp has It'd be cool to get something crazy from an imp. Can't count on it though. <laughs> like, even if it was like a steel dagger, I'd rock a steel dagger. Dang, I did not know that this early on you can just cut down trees so quickly. I want to know what, um,. <laughs> and then as soon as I say that, it takes a little bit longer. Yeah, Oak is 15. Love to get to Willow. Not today. Not today. Oh, I took off my leather gloves. And boots. I need to run over to member side and get the colored ones. I'm gonna go to the desert, get the white ones. That was always cool. I'm just killing it right now. Yeah, if I got all of like the easy skills, 
I mean, yeah, I could probably get... I wonder. I'm not sure how to go about this. My goals in the beginning were pretty clear. It was just like, alright, let's make it to full bronze. Do a couple quests, and now I'm like, I don't know what quests I want to do. I don't know what I want to do next. So is RuneScape. There's too much to do. I guess I can just try to focus on knocking out quests, and that'll have me work on skills as I'm doing that. Nice. Dang, I wonder if I can get to 15 before I start burning all these logs. I need to figure out my rotation over here. I can get my fletching up real easy. Start making arrows. But I need to save feathers for fly fishing. Ideally, once I get the lobsters, like it'll be so much easier. Or harpoon. Harpooning will be so much faster. Except having to go. I don't know how... No, I'll go to Catherby if I'm doing that. I won't avoid member side. I feel like it's going to be hard to, just so much more convenient over there, for that reason. Nice. Oh yeah, I can do this. What I think I'll do is I'll get to 15, cut down an oak tree just for fun. I'll do fire making until probably level 10, if I can just do it, like if it's that quick too, with all the logs that I have. And then I might fletch the rest and then... Mm -hmm. I need like another maze or like I need some more random events to give me some stuff because that's going to help me out the most. The 100 feathers that I got is really going to help in that one. I'm 
probably take my bronze and make a bunch of knives. Just level, do low level range on chickens, get feathers, and level up the first few levels of range with that. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, I might not get to 15 exactly when I wanted to. So cool. I want rune. I can't wait for mithril. Mithril's like that's gonna be my next goal. I mean obviously I have to get steel and all that first, but yeah, mithril's gonna be like a a huge milestone. I'm gonna go out to the wilderness and lose it first day just like I did before. Back in 2004. <laughs> it's crazy. I need to go get my 20 year cape. I forgot to do that last time. today. So close to 15, I don't want to just end right before then. We got this. Oaks are going to be so much better because I don't have to run around. Or one more. One more. Oh, it's so close. I can't I don't get why I can't go that way. Doesn't seem like there's anything blocking it from that way.
Next inventory for sure. So close. Dang, I was like two or three away. Come on. Come on. You got this. <laughs> it's like one hitting all these other ones. Yep, two away. Dang it, so close. Ooh, I wish I could take all that stuff. Just get these two right here. I'm gonna get that oak. And then I can feel accomplished. Nice. Oh, we're making progress. Oaks today, use tomorrow. <sighs> I'll be fine just sitting here instead of moving around so much. Hoping for more than three logs, but that's fine too. So now I'll get fire making up. What fire making do I need for oaks? 15 also? Okay. Alright, um. I don't need my hatchet for this. Get fire making up. Because I can't stand watching him like, try to light these for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. We all gotta start somewhere. I've never seen Mr. Groves look like that. At least this is easy. How many levels am I going to get with one inventory, I wonder? <laughs> when are we going to get to just like... One attempt? fire making being so like slow going I love having to make these trails though like it's so nice that in new school runescape or current runescape that you can just do a pile it makes so much more sense 
And it's so much easier. This was such a hassle. Especially if multiple people are trying to do this at the same time and you can't light one where there already is one. It's just a crazy concept. And so you just have these just long trails of fires like in every city. Those are the things that we miss. Dang, I already level 10. Ooh, do we get it? Almost. Got like, what, three in a row where I just did it first try? I'm stubborn, so now I gotta get to 15 too. Can't have my wood cutting out shining my fire making. how much you can zoom in. Alright. Should not need all my logs. I hope, hopefully, I didn't cut all of these just for fire making. I was hoping that I could fletch, start getting ready to stock up on bronze arrows. Surprised that even at level 12 it still takes a few tries. I knew once I forget if it was the second or third day episode of this stream that I went over the two hour mark. I gave myself like strict like two hours and no matter where we're at we are done. When it hits that two hour mark, that's it. And then one episode I went over because I was so close. And then the next episode I went over because I was so close. And now I'm like, yeah, this is, I'm gonna keep inching. I'm giving myself a little bit more time until I hit like three hours. I mean, the, the next step is clearly like a 24 hour stream. I would love to try that. I would, I would definitely be down for a 24 hour RuneScape stream. I will starve myself. I will not go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes. Okay, now can I get it with just the logs I have? That's, that is the goal. 40 each. It's like what, five logs? Oh yeah. Oh, we're hitting it so quick. Ooh. Not a novice anymore. Nice. Dang, we did a lot today. Let's top it all off with some fletching. I don't, do I have a knife? I don't have a knife. I really gotta go buy one. All right, let's sell. Let's sell that. Let's try to sell that. Should be able to buy a knife with that. Um. They're also like free everywhere. I could probably go somewhere else and pick one up, but I'm too lazy for that. Uh, 
They don't have a knife. Oh, you will? Nice. Where do I get a knife? Where do I get a knife from? Um... Maybe in Vara Castle there's a knife. Please, please, please. Oh, I can't wait to kill guards over here. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. There's a pie dish. Still gonna search. What are the odds? Give me a knife, give me a knife. Oh, I don't want How cool would it be if I just found a knife like right there? Dang, where can I get a knife from? There's probably one at Lumbridge. I just don't wanna go to Lumbridge right now. Oh, no, do not, do not attack. So many crates to search, but it would just be a waste of time. Dang it, we'll all smith a couple. Just real quick, real quick. Smith a couple throwing daggers. All oh, you're doing what I was doing. How do I not have a knife? Oh, I already have. Quite a few. Kind of seems unnecessary then. Alright. We'll end it there. I'll figure out what to do next time. I don't want to push it too much because I'm already five minutes over. <sighs> My gold back. Yeah, cool. Very productive day. Productive. Productive. So much more to do though. We've only just gotten started. Probably start focusing on quests. I'm ready for Demon Slayer already. No, I'm not on level 14. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Episode 5. Done. We'll get... It. something done next time I don't know what that is yet probably do some quests I think that's what's gonna oh I'm so jealous that's what's gonna help me the most is getting those out of the way and then I kind of have like stuff to work on for a purpose because yeah if I'm just trying to pick stuff to level up I'm it's not gonna go that well um, yeah thank you for watching and we loved playing today. Tune in next time.